screen and having fun with that. Okay, I want to tweet out the link, Ryan. Why don't you go through your first topic? Sure. Uh, it's Buy With Prime. So for those that don't know, Buy With Prime, it's the uh, Amazon basically is out or it's allowing merchants to integrate the Amazon checkout and delivery process, even if it's not on an Amazon shop. So um, basically merchants that have their own online stores can integrate Amazon's uh, fulfillment the the entire buying process so from actual purchase and then the payments associated with that and then the actual delivery and handling of the the package to consumers outside merchants can now adopt that and integrate it into their checkout process so um originally this was just invite only i think they launched in april of last year now they're allowing all eligible merchants in the u.s to uh, to have it by january 31st they had a little report basically saying covering what data they saw from their invite only participants and they said that it on average increased shopper conversion by 20 per, 25 percent which makes a lot of sense um they're also integrating merchants can also integrate amazon reviews into products as well so um, they're adding that also but basically this is a way for amazon to kind of fill any of the excess capacity they have in their fulfillment network while also providing value to merchants and getting the payment volume or the payment flow between the consumer and the merchant as well. Um, it feels like a huge win for Amazon and it feels like a kind of a, the, the only loser I can think of in this scenario is Shopify. Yes. Maybe I... some other, maybe Wix to some extent but not really because it's probably, if anything, it probably kind of equalizes the CMS services would be my thought that like, if you can Le just integrate. Yeah. yeah. Levels the playing field. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. I agree. It, basically, at least on this, on the delivery side, there's no bet. If you're using Amazon prime or you're offering it, there isn't that much of a difference then on the, on the actual shipping product side between a Shopify and a Wix. So maybe it kind of levels the playing field. So maybe it's a net benefit for Wix, but for Shopify, it feels like this is a huge, uh, basically like, a, a, I don't know, it's a stab, in, a stab in the back, like. Not even a stab in the back, just a really smart move. There's, I just, they'll eventually make some sort of decision here. Shopify will, I don't, I just don't know what they can do because this is, I guess there are two paths and I guess within the paths, there are smaller decisions they can make. One is they can allow Shopify merchants to add buy with prime to their stores, which is the best thing to do for the merchants to give them that option. Or second, they can restrict their merchants from adding buy with prime, which will hurt their financials potentially. Yeah. Cause just so for anyone that hasn't looked at Shopify, more than 50% of the revenue... Or sorry, it won't restrict it, will help. Uh, adding it will hurt their revenue, but uh, restricting it will help them. I got that mixed up, but people understand what I mean. Yeah, a lot of Shopify's revenue comes from payment volume um, and the fees on Shopify pay. So... Yeah. yeah. I, don't I, don't know what, I, I don't know what they're going to do. I think the stock... Look, e-commerce is going to grow. The the de democratization of e-commerce is probably going to continue with small business sellers online, and that's all going to be a benefit for people like shop or companies like Shopify, right? But if Amazon is providing all of the value to the merchants, delivery fulfillment by Amazon. Uh, pay, uh, check out by Amazon with Buy with Prime reviews, all of that stuff won't all the more of the profits are going to go to Amazon over time, right? Because they're providing more value to both the merchants and the and the consumers. Yeah, I would think so. What do you think Shopify stock has done over the last five years without checking? Yeah, that's per. I will load up Stratosphere. After I answer, I'm going to guess 
it is up 150%. No, but feel free to load up Stratosphere. Okay, I'm going to, let me share the screen. Actually, I'm going to make a new tab so people don't make fun of me for having 30 tabs open. Yeah, you're a chronic tab user. I, yeah, it's cleaner for, it's, it's better for the listeners too. All right, shop. Actually, why don't I share it already so I can show everyone how it works. Okay. Type in Shopify. Loads up real quick. You think this annoys podcast listeners? Uh, Potentially, but you have to just describe what's going on here. Okay. Let me get that screen out of the way. Five-year return. Wow. I was not, not bad. Not bad. 228%. Yeah. Close. Pretty, pretty darn good compound annual growth right there. 27%. What's the 10-year? Are they not? Wow, even 10 years, they're up 2,000%. What was, uh, God, their CAGR in, uh, in 2022 at the peak must have been absurd. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's a bubble for you. Let's look at three years. Ouch, minus 17. Not really, that, not really as bad as you'd think, though. One year, minus oh. 69. Not great. Well, the price you pay matters. We all knew that. Some of us forgot it, though. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think, I don't know. Well, what, what do you think? A, is, I think they're going to be in a really difficult spot. Is there, okay, here's, we're going to get this wrong. But what do you think they're going to do? Shop, Shopify. Shopify? Yeah. I don't think they're going to offer it to their merchants. Wow, you, you think they're going to restrict it? Yeah. At least that's what they've tried to do so far. Um, or they at least have heavily encouraged not using it. I, I can't remember what technical reason they used why. No, they gave out some propaganda, some some real, some big time BS of why yeah. it wasn't safe or something like that, uh, which doesn't make any sense. But the, I could no. see that. I could see that happening. But it's. It, I think it's that that'll hurt their business because on the margins, people are going to choose either to sell on Amazon or sell on other website providers. Big commerce has that integration now. I'm sure everyone else is going to add this. If they're the only ones left out, they either A, have to build the same logistics experience, which is impossible, or they're going to have a worse experience for their merchants. Yeah, but I think the software, I think their platform is still good enough to attract a lot of merchants. If it's a popular brand, I think it's still superior to all the other content management systems that you'll probably still go with them, especially what if, if you it, lack technical expertise. What if you're bigger and you got a big commerce? Maybe. I think if you're yeah. bigger, if you it depends how it depends on what kind of scale we're talking about, because you'll probably just go custom or maybe even WordPress. But I just think, I still think, when I look at the like the software, the platforms among the content management systems, I just don't think anyone competes with Shopify, even if you have the Amazon integration. I have a feeling that a lot, and this is like just pure gut, I have a feeling that a lot of people that shop on Shopify websites aren't as worried about delivery times there that's a fair point yeah yeah like Allbirds, for example Allbirds is powered by shopify it's probably one of their biggest customers 